as promised, this is a video for an overview of Maker Central, which is a digital fabric weekend service that the library offers. This video is for the staff at locations that don't offer this service, but might get questions about it this summer, so that way you can answer some basic questions. Um, so what is it? Digital fabrication service is um, whenever customers come in to use our machines to fabricate something. This is the 3D printers, the laser cutters, the mill machines, the vinyl cutters. This differs the, from the 3D printers that people request from administration. Those machines are used for programming, either for introduction to, to the technology or for facilitating a specific project using the machine. So this is very different in that customers can come and book time with the machines and use them however they want. It's not so much a, a program as it is a service. We do um, have them attend orientation so they can learn how to use the machines and then they're able to turn around and book time on the machines. Now, three labs exist in the library. We have a lab at the Freeman branch, we have a lab at the Evelyn Mutter branch, and we have a lab at administration. And customers can come to all three of those, including administration, to book time and use the machines. We also have 3D printing service at several locations around Harris County. These 3D printers actually stay at the branches and they are available for the customers to also book time to use the 3D printers there. Those branches are Bear Creek, um, Kingwood, North Channel, and Barber Bush. So Maker Central links all of them up. The reason that we have this um, badging service on Beanstack is because if a customer wants to travel between branches to use machines, we have to keep a way to track that they have had orientation on those machines and that they are able to book time to use them. Beanstack allows us to do this. And I'm going to just show you really quickly what that looks like in terms of how a customer gets badged and how they book time. So that way you know um, how the service works. Okay, so this is the um, page on Beanstack right now. You see Maker Central here. Um, you don't see Summer Reading Program um, for a couple reasons. One, Maker Central is a year-round program, so we're using Beanstack right now to, to, um, to host Maker Central. When Summer Reading starts, you will actually see it here alongside Maker Central. So we'll have half of the um, graphic devoted to Summer Reading, half devoted to Maker Central. The reason we're making this video because we think that you might get some questions about what Maker Central is if people come to use um, summer reading and see this service. And we want to make sure everyone knows what it is so they can at least um, answer those questions. So signing up for Maker Central is the same as when they sign up for Beanstack. They can register themselves um, to sign up. Uh, the registration is very easy. You just fill in your information. It does say reader's information. This site is primarily summer reading, so um, a lot of the language lends itself to that, but it still works as a summer, um, or I'm sorry, as a, a year-round program for, for Maker Central. I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in so you can see what it looks like from the customer's point of view. So when they get to, um, well, after they sign in, they can see that they have two options. They can go to Libraries Rock, which is the summer reading program. They're going to see that this summer. Or they can go into Maker Central, which is the year-round program. In Maker Central, we have turned the machines into badges. So that way we can see what people have learned and what they're able to book time on and what they have not learned um, and that they need to come in for orientation. So if you notice, we have 3D printer badge at the orientation, and then they can get certified in MakerBot, which is a brand of 3D printing we have in our system, Lulzbot, which is a different brand, PolyPrinter, Ultimaker, Gigabot. So these all have the same concepts, um, 3D printing concepts, but each one is slightly different, which is why we created a badge for each machine. When a, a customer comes in, they can click on any badge, um, to find out uh, where the orientation is, and then they can orient themselves. Once they earn this first badge, they don't have to, to go in for orientation for each and every printer. 
um, basically we grant them this if they learn 3D printer on the MakerBot um, at Freeman and then they turn to um, admin to use the Wolfbot, we'll still give them the time, but we know as a staff to give them about 15 minutes to orient them to this particular machine. And once they've booked time on this machine and have learned it, we go ahead and badge them on it so that way, next time we know they're not going to need as much time to orient. They already know how to use it. So that's why we have the different kinds of badges. Same goes for 3D scanners. Same goes for vinyl cutters. We make sure to list every um, kind of brand machine that we have and the milling machine as well. So if you click on one that you have not earned, you'll get a note that says start here to use one of our milling machines. Um, once completing the orientation, you can book time, yada, yada, yada. So it kind of gives you the, um, the process in order, to, um, in order to be able to book one of the machines. And it gives you a link to the orientations. This just links to our calendar so they can find out where the next mill orientation is. And in this case, it's at the end of the month at um, Freeman. Once um, they have earned the badge, you can see it goes from black and white, like this one, this grayscale, into full color. Um, they just click on it. Their reward is up here. Um, book your 3D printing, go to your awards to book, and actually rewards live right here under this tab. And you can see the ones that I've earned. So I've taken the vinyl cutter um, orientation, so this link is active. Congratulations, you've earned the vinyl cutter badge. Click here to book time, so I can click here and actually book time. Same with 3D printing. Um, click here to book time with a 3D printer, so I've done that one. Um, mill machines, I have not uh, badged myself in this. I haven't taken the orientation uh, as a customer. So I can't, there's no link for me in a book. It says earn the three, um, earn the desktop CNC milling machine orientation to unlock this reward. So it's telling me to go to an orientation to unlock it. This is how we kind of create the flow so people know what, ma what machines they can book and what they still need. If you do click on the active link, it takes you to our um, booking form for a 3D print reservation. Name, their email, their number, their location, it says what location and what 3D printer they have, which badges, so what are they, um, what have they learned. This helps us when we are um, scheduling them to know how much time we need to orient them to a specific machine if needed. Um, and then just some extra information that they don't have to have, but if they do, it just kind of helps us with booking um, and times and submit. And this, once they submit, it goes off to whatever branch that is and they handle the booking from there. And they have a wealth of information to start from so that we, when we contact the customer, we can get them scheduled pretty quickly. So that is how you book. If you want to take a moment to familiarize yourself um, with what branches have what machines, they're underneath each one. You can look and see in parentheses um, who has what all the way down. So Freeman has the 3D scanner, the laser, um, full spectrum laser, admin administration has the Epilog mini laser, um, the different Kingwood has the Ultimaker 2. Um, I will note that the branches that are closed, which um, right now are Kingwood and Barbara Bush, they, um, they are coming soon to book machines. You won't find them yet in the, in the availability. Um, North Channel is active and Bear Creek will be active soon, but just look for those branches that, that were closed that are now open, um, Bear Creek, Kingwood, and, and Barbara Bush to come online later after all three have opened up. Now, if anyone wants more information, um, you can always go to our website and Maker Central is one of the major banners. In fact, I think it's stuck there. Um, it's also along the side, on the left-hand side. They can click on it, and that takes them to a page on our website that gives them um, some more information. So it talks about what the service is. It talks about um, taking orientation. It goes over what these different fabrication machines do, including a quick um, synopsis of their function. It gives you some more detailed information if they were to click on this link. 
Um, it also has the different labs available to them. Um, but every link they click on, all roads take them back to uh, Beanstack. So that way everything's funneled through the same thing. Um, and that way everything is streamlined. So that is Maker Central in a nutshell. If you have any further questions, you can always contact me. I'll be here for a little while. And then also you can contact Angela Martinez at angela.martinez at hcpl.net. She can also explain to you um, in detail different aspects of Maker Central.